Okay, our nose, our schnoz, we need to change that. So make sure you are on your face layer, make sure you are on your face thumbnail and not the mask. Go get your regular lasso tool and go ahead and let's grab this nose. Now go ahead and start way up here in like the bridge of your nose where it connects to your forehead. And then come around your nostrils, get you some extra skin in there. It's okay if you accidentally touch your lip. Then come on back up and around. And it kind of looks like, I don't know, like a spoon or a spatula or something like that. Oh, a beaker. Somebody said a beaker earlier. It looks like a beaker. So there are my ants. Do a command J and we now have a nose layer. Ooh, I did a bad job on that eye. I need to go back to that left eye and I need to get rid of all that. That is bad. Bad me. There we go. All right, so I have a nose layer. Call it nose, trunk, schnoz, give it a name. Now, what we're gonna do differently for our nose, which is why we had to make a video, right? Because if we were doing the same thing, I could have just said, hey, go do your nose. Our nose, we're going to warp it so we can get a totally different shape out of it before we start blending it down. So your nose layer here, you're gonna venture on over to your edit menu, transform and warp. Now this isn't gonna warp us into hyperdrive, but it is going to place kind of like this wire frame all over our nose. And just start playing with this, like there's really no right or wrong. You can grab inside of these panels, you can grab the actual little wireframes, and you'll notice that you can squeeze things together or you can expand things out. And all these little quadrants are kind of independent of one another that lets us get things either bigger or smaller. Now another thing to play with are these little handlebars that kind of start to pop out as you're moving things around. If you don't see these handlebars, it's because you haven't done anything yet and you just need to kind of play with your nose a little bit. Play with your nose. Pick on your nose. Anyway, <laughs> you can grab these little circles. These circles are like hands and these things are like arms. And you can use this to expand things out. Move things around, shrink things in. You'll, we will play with these a bunch when we start playing with vector shapes, so these are not going away. So I made it really skinny up here and really big down here. I've seen people push that nose straight up, so then it's kind of like, almost like a little pig nose. It's whatever you would like for it to look like. It's kind of fun. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. When you're happy with it, hit enter. Or if you totally hate it, hit enter, and then you can just back up and you can totally just try again. I was okay with mine though. Now, just like everything before, we do need to apply a mask, go get our medium-sized fuzzy brush, and then of course go to work blending all of this in. That should been blend pretty nicely. Just make sure up here around your eyeballs and up at the top of this bridge here that everything looks good. Ooh, that looks nice. That's nice and seamless. You can't even tell. That looks awesome. All right, that's your nose. Save it. Move on to the next step. 